morning, CCHS. Hey students, remember that the annual Morph Dance is set for this Friday from 8 to 10 in the Commons. Admission will be $5 per person, and since this is a Pride event, students will be made admitted free with their Pride Activity Band. Make sure to have your student ID with you as only current students will be admitted into the dance. No dance passes are allowed. The admissions representative from Colorado Mesa University will be in the makerspace today during fourth block to talk to interested students. Set up on Naviance or in the guidance office or get a pass from your fourth block teacher to attend. There will be an international club meeting on Friday, March 6th at lunch in Miss Curl's room number 607. We will be discussing our next celebration. Anyone and everyone is welcome to join. Attention all P-TECH students. If you have not returned your signed P-TECH contract to Mr. Testing Room 610, please do so as soon as possible. Attention all sophomores. You will be having a mandatory class meeting on Wednesday, March 4th in the auditorium during second block. Please report to the auditorium immediately after first block with your fully charged Chromebooks. You will be given important information about the new PACE program graduation requirement for your class. Come with an open mind and willingness to try something new. We are excited to share all that the PACE program has to offer. See you on Wednesday. The free application for Federal Student Aid, or FAFSA, is students' ticket to receiving scholarships, grants, and work study, but only 50% of Colorado high school seniors completed the form last year. Over the last two years, that translates to an estimated $92 million in financial aid left on the table. Unclaimed taxpayer money that could bridge the gap for tens of thousands of students. Colorado can no longer afford to rank toward the bottom in statewide FAFSA completion. That's why the Colorado Department of Higher Education is launching the Get Your Piece of the Pie campaign today through Friday, March 13, 2020. Do you like to write? Do you like taking pictures and editing photos? Are you artistic and like to do graphic design and layouts? Do you like working independently on large real world projects? You need to add yearbook to your schedule for next year. See Mrs. Lyons in room 112 for an application. A big congratulations goes out to the JRGC rifle team for their performance at the Colorado Junior Olympic State Championships this past Wednesday. The team of Riley Mills, Dacia Mills, Tate Rutherford, and Will Pushek shot a solid match and qualified for the Junior Olympic National Championship, which will be held at Camp Perry, Ohio, in late June. Jocelyn Karochi also qualified for the Junior Olympic National Championship as an individual shooter, and she fired a personal record at the match last Wednesday. Great job and best of luck. Are you interested in helping us make the announcements? Do you like creating short films? Please see Mrs. Reed in room 617 to ask about adding video production too to your schedule for next year. Tiger Trek starts t today. It's time to get signed up. To the hey, don't make fun of me here. <laughs> signed up to the athletic office by Thursday. See Coach Morning if you have any questions. There will be a Skills USA Welding Club meeting this Thursday in Mr. Vincey's room number 401. All members, please attend. Today, for lunch, we will be having chicken teriyaki or Sloppy Joe. Mm. Thanks and have a great day, Tigers.